Hey guys, what is up? TSP Twitter here. Um, today's video is going to be something a little new. Um, we're going to go ahead and call it Mapping Essentials. And basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to map things out in this series of videos. In today's video, we're going to be using a Akai LPD8. And what we're going to be mapping out is going to be a delay freeze effect. So pretty much um, once we're through this series, you guys should have learned how to map out a bunch of different number of effects. Um, and then you guys can go ahead and apply that to your own mappings. Again, today's video will only be on the delay freeze effect. And you know you can feel free to apply this mapping to whatever control you have. Just make sure that you follow all these steps given. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our preferences. Uh, for Mac users, that's going to be the command and comma key. I believe Windows users, it'll be the control and uh, comma key. Alternatively, you can also go to the top right hand corner and click the little button that looks like a gear. So with our preferences window open, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and navigate over to the controller manager. Now I had some other MIDI mapping up, but what you should normally see is going to be the tractor scratch to default keyboard mapping. Alright, now with controller manager up, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and navigate to add. And we're just going to add a generic MIDI. You see there might be other options here. Just take the generic MIDI because those other options are already pre-mapped. Before we go any further, one thing I did want to mention is that you will need to make sure that your effects are set up so that you can go ahead and use this effect. Um, the way I have mine set up is I have effects 1 and 2 as grouped and effects 3 and 4 as single effects. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our effects tab and uh, this is where you're going to be able to change either from two to four effects units and then you're also going to be able to change whether they're grouped or single. And in here, you know, you just go ahead and change that to reflect however you want to use it. But make sure you do have at least one that's single so that you can go ahead and do this mapping. All right, so we're back to our controller manager page. And the first thing you want to do whenever you're making a mapping is you want to set your imports and your outports. So what we're going to do is we're going to send them over to the LPD8. Now this is really important, something you can't really skip. Alright, so now that we have everything ready, what we're going to start doing is we're going to start the mapping. And the one thing I do before I do any effect mapping is I always make sure to turn that effect unit on to whatever deck it is on the mixer. So we're going to go to add in, we're going to select mixer, and then we're going to turn effect unit 3 on since we will be working with effect unit 3 for this example. This is an important step unless you have an effect selector on your on your mapping already. I don't, so I make sure to map this in with the rest of the effect. We're going to make sure we assign it to deck A because we're going to be making this mapping for deck A. Um, you could pretty much leave, you know, you could assign it to whatever deck you're going to be using, but in this tutorial we're going to be using deck A. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to hit learn, and then we're going to go ahead and hit the button on the actual controller. In this instance, it's going to be control, it's going to be channel 1, note E2. We're going to keep it as a button and then we're going to keep it as hold. If you did want to go ahead and use this as a toggle on off, you can go ahead and select toggle. In this video, we're going to use a hold. Now we can get started with the rest of the mapping. We're going to select add in. From there, we're going to go to effect single and then we're going to go to effect select. Now the learn button is still going because when we last used it, um, we never turned it off. So we're going to go ahead and push the button on the controller that we're going to be using. We're going to set this to a button. We're going to set it to direct, assign it to effects unit 3, and set the value to delay. What that's going to do is it's going to hit make it so when you hit the button, it directly goes to delay on the third effect unit. Now we want to make sure to turn the effect unit on. So we're going to go to add in. Go to effect single, and we're going to click effect on. We're going to go ahead and push the button on the controller. We're going to leave this as a button, leave it as hold, and then make sure we set our assignment to effect unit 3. So the next thing we're going to assign is going to be dry wet. We're going to go ahead and go to add in, go to effect single, and then you want to select dry wet single. Push the button that's on the controller. All right, we're going to turn this into a button. We're going to make it direct. Sign it to effect unit 3. And we're going to leave the value at 0, 0.000. Next, we're going to assign the first parameter. 
So we're gonna go to add in, we're gonna go to effect single, and we're gonna do effect parameter one. All right, push the button on the controller. We're gonna set this again to a button. We're gonna keep it as direct, assigned to effect unit three, and we're gonna change the value on this one. This time we're gonna change it to 1.00. Next we're gonna go to add in again. We're gonna go to effect single, and we're gonna add in effect parameter two. Go ahead and push the button on your controller. Then we're gonna set this to a button again. We're gonna leave it as direct and we're gonna assign to effects unit three. Now the value on this one is gonna be 0 0.5000. Push enter and we're ready for the next one. Again, add in, effect single, and we're gonna do effect parameter three this time. Go ahead and push the button on your controller. We're gonna change it again to a button Leave it as direct, assign to effects unit three. And we're gonna set the value on this one to 0 0.6000. Now we're done with the parameters. We have just, I believe one more to add in. So again, we're gonna go to add in, effect single, and we're gonna do effect button one. All right, go ahead and push the button on your controller. We're gonna leave this as a button. We're gonna leave it as hold and we're gonna assign it to effects unit three. Now you're pretty much done. You want to make sure your assignments on deck A and effects unit 3. Make sure that your modes are set to direct and hold. Um, make sure you don't mix and match hold and toggles. It's either hold or toggle. You shouldn't have both of them in there. You go ahead and turn off the learn button. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, do is we're going to move the panel so that we can test out our effect before we close it. So I went ahead and played some music. Pay attention to the third effect unit. We want to see this change. And then also the number the third effect control on the mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and push the button. And you can see that it's working. You can see that everything's turned on here. Now for copyright reasons, I've went ahead and muted what was playing, but you can see that everything was working here. So congratulations. You've now managed to map your first effect to your controller. This is gonna be delay freeze. Um have fun with it, you know. Remember that you could take this assignment and you could apply it to any deck. You can apply it, you know, to pretty much any kind of parameters you want. Now I would recommend playing with the parameters, seeing what fits your style of mixing the best. If you find something that works for you, if you find something that you like better than the parameters I provide you with, shoot me an email, contact me through Facebook, message me here on YouTube. Let me know which parameters work best for you. And, you know, I could probably even change this video up to reflect that. So, have fun with this, guys. Practice and enjoy. Um, for this week, this is TSB Tutor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.